All this week, we're trying to bring those good vibes into our lives with our series, Mood Boosters. Well, one way to do that is by bringing some green into our homes. Research shows that folks who spend just a few minutes in a room with houseplants actually feel happier than those without. Hilton Carter is a plant stylist and the host of Magnolia Workshops. Hilton, good to see you. Good to see all of you. One of our favorite guests. We love when you you come here. Craig has a lot of personal questions. Yeah, he does. So we're going to get get to that. I'm old enough to remember back in the 70s, uh, talking about you should talk to your plants have a relationship you actually name some of your plants yes i do name my plants i believe name your plants helps you be a bit more connected to that plant Uh like you name your pets you should name your plants so you can bring that sort of energy towards that plant is that a mood booster it is a true mood booster it makes you a bit more excited about the care and it brings you like that one-on-one to that plant now i've never really given my friends plant gifts without knowing their light but i have brought you my friends plants today oh and i've picked out these plants yeah. based on your personality. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is wow. so really cool. Is there such a thing as a jackass plant? <laughs> <laughs> for you or me? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, I could... for you or me? <laughs> 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 you, is that for you? Uh, I would have never done that. I would never thank want you, anything you. to offend any of you. I hope not. Uh, but Dylan, I brought you this oh, olive yes. tree. I know you are family oriented uh, yes. woman, and you also love to cook. I this do. plant is perfect for the kitchen, especially if you have a lot of bright light. Okay. And uh, as friendships, I want to extend the olive oh, branch. Oh, oh, very nice. We got that for my friend Al. You have to tell me how to take care I of this. I will definitely do that okay. before we leave, Al, because you're so stylish. That's true. It's so stylish. cool. I brought you this crocodile. Oh. Oh. It's one of the best, I would say, stylish, very cool plants. I love and that. just like you, it is something that needs to be tended to daily. Yes. Right? Oh, yes. My man, I just said to you in the commercial break, I just you said, just said this guy this. here, this is for me. This mounted stag oh. horn, my friend, is what for is you. It? It's a mounted stag horn fern. So basically, it will be mounted to this board. Yes. And it will hang on your wall in wow. your home. Because I know you said you had a living wall last time we were yeah, here. I do, I do. And why not have a living piece of art like the stag That's horn fern? And you'll, you'll talk to me home. about how to maintain that. I will totally talk to you. About <laughs> how much sun are we talking? Does it work? Okay, we got to to do. Okay. I've got a lot of talk, questions. You can talk too, to him later. Sorry. I'm okay. so excited. I'm I know. So nice. I'm very excited. Thank, Thank you, you so of much. Course, of course. Um, one thing you say is the best way to give somebody a plant yes. is to propagate from one you have at home. I think the best way to share your passion for mm-hmm. plants, to share your excitement, your love for plants, is to gift them cuttings from home. It not oh. only makes you feel a bit excited, boosts yeah. your mood, yeah. right. but it boosts the moods of the, fo- the folks you are gifting that plant to. Now, when it comes to propagating a plant, you should know exactly what type of plant you are working with to mm-hmm. propagate it, but most plants, like these vine-like plants, have indicators like these nose on where to make the okay. cut, and then you can place them in oh. water. Are some be- easier to propagate than others? Yes, some are easier to propagate than others. From that little node there, that's where your roots develop. Both, wow. uh, I'll say the pothos plant here, vine-like plants tend to push out growth faster when it comes to roots. Okay. And once they see those roots, then they can take that plant and pot it into soil and grow so their grow plant roots. family. It'll grow roots. How exactly. long roughly will that take? To- the, this type of plant will probably take about a week and a half, maybe two oh. weeks for a root to start to grow. And then when would you when would you transplant? For this particular plant, once those roots grow about six inches in length, uh-huh. that's when you can then transfer yeah, it into soil. I want to make sure we get, cool. we get okay. to this because this sure. is a concept that I think I may steal as well. You should. <laughs> Steal you this. call this a plant throne? You should create a plant throne in your home because as you are taking in right now, Craig, it's a space for someone oh, to wow. get totally Think immersed the oxygen in oh, yeah. the goodness. Yeah. You're taking it place. all in. You're able to like <laughs> sit and relax. Should you about pet your day. plants? You should pet your plants. You should pet and talk to your plants. Okay. Play music for your plants. Play music for yourself. That's all cool. the things that Craig, will benefit Craig you, will. boost your mood, Craig you should help to do for your plants, right? So in this situation, you're putting plants around you so you can feel like you have uh, separated a little area for yourself that yeah. creates those quiet moments. Can I tell moments. you plant Please. envy I have right now? Hey, oh man. Because these plants are so beautiful. They and are. Healthy. I mean, it's, it's just... They're you know, luxurious. Craig, how the, are your plants doing at home? How are like your Craig's like doing, Craig? So I, I've got... I feel like we need we, to talk. We, might, we, we may need to take a trip to your home. <laughs> oh, there's a... Just, there's let's a, do that. You know Producers, <laughs> please. Yeah. I would love to come around and show let's you, because I've got, I've got one of these in the, in the bedroom, yep. and I and we're having some trouble with it, typically with a plant like with this. With the plant. Well, you're Craig, right. let me start by saying this. <laughs> this plant here, I love the fiddle leaf fig. My first plant, his name's Frank. I named him because I needed something to make me 
me get into the job more. You just power through it. <laughs> Don't let Roker distract you. So, so what I will say is this plant here taught me how to be a better plant parent because it is very finicky. Okay. So don't throw yourself under a bus, okay, under a rug. Name okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, step one, name it. You know what I'm name? Hilton. I'm well, going to name Hilton. Uh, uh, another mood booster. Never name a plant after someone you might like and care for. Oh, because they, like, may die. <laughs> they may die. There you go. <laughs> well, Hilton Carter, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.